Welcome back, little salty homesteader here. Um, today, we are going to be building a couple of um, smaller raised beds, and we're going to be putting a cattle panel um, arch trellis between them. So we're gonna start that process today, and I'm gonna walk you through it. Um, we went to Home Depot yesterday, and we got several um, cedar planks here. Let's see. See if you guys can see these. Um, and then we got some one by twos to provide supports for them. And then we're gonna go to a feed store here in a little while to buy the um, cattle panel and the T posts. So here in about two minutes, we're gonna start cutting all this wood down to size. The size of the beds is going to be four foot by two foot and about 11 inches tall. So they're not very tall. Um, and there's going to be two of those. We are going to be centering them behind this fountain in this sort of granite bed that we have here. So we are going to get started. What I'm doing right now is I'm measuring out eight of these boards to be four foot long, and then um, the other four we will cut into two foot pieces. And these are actually six inches wide, so the beds will be 12 inches tall. Um, so this is the first two. Have six left to measure at the four foot, and then I'll measure the two foot section. Stay over there, okay, Lily? There's gonna be lots of dust flying around. Now he's going to cut the one by twos um, into 12 inch pieces. He's cutting eight of them and um, that's going to provide the corner bracing for us to screw all of the pieces into. Okay, so now that all of the pieces are cut, um, we are going to start assembling the raised beds and it's gonna be pretty simple. So, if you guys can see, try not to get my husband's butt. Okay, so um, it's gonna be two planks and then gonna be secured with the one by twos here and we're using one and a quarter inch screws and um, we're just gonna screw these pieces into all of them and then screw them together.
Okay, so um, after we got those braces put on each of the sides, we then screwed it all together and it is all finished. I have it set over here. We have to put one more together and then tomorrow we're gonna get the cattle panel and the T-post to finish putting that stuff up and then that's pretty much it. <laughs> One more. Oh, sorry. Shouldn't have put your knee there. Yeah, God, let me just detach it from my leg. <laughs> Pass me the box. <laughs> hey, so it's been a few days since we built the raised beds. Um, we have them set up over here and I have filled them with soil. So what I did for the soil is I had some leaves decomposing behind my other raised bed there. So um, I just filled the beds partially with those and then some soil and then I got some compost yesterday from the local feed store. So there's one and then there's the other one. So um, now we need to get the T-posts um, put in to the beds and then we can anchor the cattle panel to the T-posts. We got the cattle panel yesterday from the local feed store um, down the street and then um, I picked up the T-Post today from Lowe's. So 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get those T-posts put in and hopefully we can get the cattle panel put on. We're just going to attach them with zip, with, we are going to attach it <laughs> with zip ties. I use the rubber mallet to hammer those <laughs> those um, T posts in, and we're gonna attach with the zip ties, and we're gonna wear some gloves because the cattle panel wires dig into your hands a little bit. You're gonna wear Daddy's gloves. Yeah. Okay. Since Daddy's not out here to help, I'm gonna yeah. take his place. You're gonna take his place, huh? Logan has your gloves. He's gonna help you. That's what he says, but I don't know if he. Oh no, I feel like you need two adults. Yeah. What are we going to do? Uh, I think it's easier to get one side first and then pop the yeah. other side. Like we put it in the truck. Yeah, I know. You think it'd be easier to start with this side or that side? Uh, start on your side and I'll hold this side and I'll okay. come push it in. Stop, stop, stop. Don't move it. Oh. Put it on that side. So you got the, the metal things right there. Yeah. Will you be able to put it in this? Yeah. Alright, now this is where you want it to be placed exactly where you want it to. Do you want it off even or do you want more on the back? Uh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that this is fine where it's pretty even with the front. I'd rather okay. have it sticking more out of the back. Logan, come back because if this thing pops you in the face, it's, it's going to hurt. hurt a lot. And you're going to have to get stitches. So can you move that way? Go that way, please.
turn up the, the grill so that way they burn off the stuff a little quicker. Okay. You just have to turn it back down whenever you before you put the chicken on. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we got the zip ties attached and um, down here down here at the bottom we still need to kind of staple it to the side just to make it a little bit straighter but it looks pretty good I'm really excited um, it, looks short. it looks short can you reach the top <laughs> no I guess it's not that short is it okay so It's not that wide? Yeah. yeah. I, I was thinking it would go here. Well, then it would be very short. Here. It would be shorter than mommy. Oh. Okay, so we are going to be growing Malabar spinach, uh, scarlet runner beans, and cucumbers and cucumelons on cucumelons. this cucumelons. four foot cattle panel. It's the little tiny ones. Oh. Um, and and I think. There. I think those seeds go in the ground next month in March. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna add a little bit more soil in this bed just to give these um, T posts a little bit more stability. But that's pretty much it. We just need to staple and add a little bit more soil and it'll be ready to plant. And that is it. Thank you guys for joining us um, on this Thank you for joining us on this building adventure, and we will see you next time. I'm going to go cook dinner.